Hello, welcome back to All Things Gumball. I want to talk to you today about something I found in Sam's. And if you guys... This thing is wobbling like I'm on a ship. <laughs> what I did was I just put two vending machines uh, right in front of me and they're kind of wobbling. Sorry about that. And I put a board on top so it's, it makes a little, you know, workspace. Now, if you haven't seen, uh, M&M's is coming out with plastic tubs for uh, their candy. And these are really nice to have because you could put tools or parts. You can put other candies in there, like if you have a bag of Skittles and you don't want to leave them uh, with the chance of them spilling out on the floor, you can put them in these. These are really handy to have. I'll use these later, these little tubs later. Now, look at these items here. This is your regular peanut M&M's and this is your Christmas color peanut M&M's. Down here, on this side, on, on my left, on my right, your left, you have again some more of the Christmas colors. I don't know if you can see that, alright? <clears throat> and these are the regular colors of the plain M&M's and the peanut M&M's, as you can see. Now, <clears throat> I talked about this earlier in another video um, about the uh, red, white, and blue colors. <clears throat> these are the holiday colors for Christmas, green and red. Now, I don't know who decided that green and red was going to be the Christmas colors, but that's what they are. Now, these are on sale, of course, because the holiday is over. And these are a little more than half off. I think these were $4.99. Normally, the peanut M&Ms and the plain M&Ms, normally, they cost about $11. And these are $5. So, as you can see, it's more than half off. Now, it's a really good deal. Why would you not want to take these? The only problem is you don't want to put them in your machine. <clears throat> the only problem is you don't really want to put them inside of your machine. It's sealed. So you know these are fresh. Now, you could put these in your machine, you know, before the holidays, before Christmas. And they would probably be fine after Christmas for about a week or two or three or maybe four, a month. The problem is when you put these in your machine, it's like putting a date. It's like putting a date stamp on the candy. Everyone sees the candy. They can tell what the time of the year that you put this candy in the machine. Now eventually, little by little, it'll get these colors will trickle down little by little. Every quarter that you put in the machine or that the customer puts in the machine, this candy will go down little by little. Now if it's down about halfway of what we put in here, and then we add some of the regular colors, you're still going to see these way down here on the bottom. And people are going to know that this is still older candy. It could be two months old on the bottom. If you put this candy in the machine and two months later you put another container of this in the machine, you don't really know what the date is of the candy. Does that make sense? So what do you do with this candy, with this bargain? Well, I'll show you what you do. Now when you go out and service your machine, now I'm at my house so uh, I have a bunch of these and it's really nice to have these gloves, they're only a couple, you know, a half a cent or whatever a piece, but it's really nice to have these gloves because then when you're getting gasoline in your car you can put these on and you don't spill gas on your hands. But what you want to do is you want to put this in a little pan, let's say a little saucepan like this or And as you can see, I only put about a quarter of a container in the in the pan here. 
And then I'm going to take another container of the regular colors. Okay. And then I'm going to give it a good mix. And then when I'm done, I'm going to put it back in the, the original container. And I'm going to show you what it looks like. is rocking like a sailboat. I've never been on a sailboat. You know, we live so close to the Gulf of Mexico, um, it's about a four hour drive from Dallas down to the Gulf. <clears throat> the Gulf of Mexico. And one one summer we took a um, we took a boat out and we went um, saltwater or deep deep sea fishing. We went out about 10 miles and we tied the boat to the legs of an oil rig. And I'm not telling you an exaggeration, but when you looked up at the oil rig, it was literally the size of a football field. Just looking up at the base that they built everything on, their apartments and everything, their housing and their restaurant and whatever else. Now you're going to have a little bit left over, but as you can see, As you can see, these are the original colors, and this is what we added the green and red to. And really, nobody's going to know the difference. They're just going to think it's the regular M&M's. They're not going to know that it's a holiday M&M, and that it's an old M&M. But the holidays have been, you know, just recently, so let me read on the back the date that this expires. It says 7 of 2019, the 7th month, let's see, January, February, March, April, May, June, July. This is good until July, but the problem is, and I'll show it to you if you don't believe me. Can you read that? The problem is, M&M's is saying... The problem is M&M's is saying that it's good until July, but the customer doesn't really know that. And if they see a candy in a machine for more than a month or two months, that's when they get bothered, okay? Uh, as I've said in uh, another video of mine, I have eaten candy that's two months old and three months old, and I'm not saying it's bad. It's not fresh, but it's not bad. So this is one way that you can save on the expense of candy when you're putting candy in your machine. Look for deals like this. As I said, $4.99 at Sam's. Mix it in with some of your other colors and nobody's going to know the difference. I remember one time I was, um, I used to shop at this grocery store and Right around Easter time, they were selling um, gourmet jelly beans in small bags about this big. I think there were four ounces a bag. And for some reason, they couldn't sell these gourmet jelly beans. And I kept watching. You know, I, you know, there were hundreds of bags of these gourmet jelly beans. Every time I'd go into the store, I'd check out the candy. And they lowered the price from like $4 down to uh, $3 after the holidays, after the Easter holiday. And then a couple weeks later, they lowered it to $2. And then a couple weeks after that, they lowered it to $1. And still nobody was buying them. There were still 100 bags of these little gummy uh, jelly beans, these little, little jelly beans. And I went over to the store manager and I said, I'd like to take these off your hand. What would you sell them to me? What would you price them at um, if I buy the whole lot? And I think she said, give me 50 bucks or $45 or something like that. 45 I think she said, for the whole lot. And what I did was I had the empty jelly bean jars, which look a little bit like this, they're about this size, and I took, took the bags home and I up, opened them up and poured them in the containers. And it turned out what I was paying was, normally when you go to Sam's and you get some jelly beans this size container, it's about 11 or $12. And what it turned out was I filled this up with the jelly beans and it was like a dollar per container. 
I hope that makes sense to you. I hope you get what I'm saying. Look for deals where they're selling candy. Before you buy a hundred bags of Skittles or a hundred bags of chiclets or something, buy one bag. Even if it's a small bag and then taste it. See how it tastes. Is it something that you think your customer's going to like? Is it fresh? Is it delicious? All right. I hope you like these videos. Give it a thumbs up if you like them. Please subscribe if you love them. Have a good morning. Have a good evening. Have a good afternoon.